Boom, guys. Welcome. Boom. <laughs> guys, we have got an amazing, amazing call today for everyone. Rudy will be joining us shortly, but I've got Silas King and his team from Nacogdoches, Texas there. Give us a shout out, Silas. Hey, what's up, what's up man? man? We're uh, supporting uh, uh, Rudy and uh, Bart's call that they do weekly. And guys, we just wanted to come on here and bring some energy uh, to, to share with you guys about this unique opportunity with our boomerang uh, from Nacogdoches, Texas, guys. And, and I got to add, I just told Silas, Nacogdoches is where my grandmother lived, my aunt, my cousins, my dad went to the university there, played basketball. I know the area well. For them to be creating the results they're creating in Nacogdoches, that is totally amazing. You guys are rocking it out. And we've got uh, Troy coming back to it. Troy, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. How you guys doing out there? Doing awesome, awesome. You know, one of the things that we want to talk about today was when is your Independence Day or when was your Independence Day? I'm going to kick off with, with Silas over here and his team. Silas, tell us a little bit about what you're doing to create your independence there in Nacogdoches. Well, um, one thing that we've been doing, and, and you guys, they can touch on it too. Um, one thing that that these two, you know, Samantha um, and Nathan, that they're really good at out here is relationship building. Yeah. And um, we've really been, uh, you know, building a community mm -hmm. off of, you know, building a relationship with people and and just showing how the enthusiasm of what it is that we're doing, just building it off of, you know, the excitement of what it is that we're doing. Right. And, um, you know, showing showing the college, uh, you know, the youth out here, the millennials, how to get out of debt, but not in a way to where it's not interesting, just, just in a way of where we're like building a, a community. And so we've learned something, it's called the, um, it's called the first follower. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a marketing tip that, that I've learned uh, from being around a lot of marketers and, Basically, we want to show people, you know, that, you know, if one person is getting the results and, and they're around our age or even, right. even if they're not around our age, too. And we, but we're coming with that, that energy to see us coming and they hear us sharing opportunity. They want to be, they want to, they want to know what it is that we're doing. They're like, oh, what is it that you guys are doing there? And so that, that's what we've been doing out here um, in Akadosis. That is, that's awesome. So tell us a little about this, this 90 day program thing that you're doing. Ooh, absolutely. And um, so the 90 day, um, so what I learned in, in like the industry, and you guys can hear me clear. Yeah, we hear you great. And so what I learned is that, um, you know, we built the business really, you know, in increments 30 days at a time, but you can go 90, you can do 90 days. Blitz. But it takes a team. And so what we're doing is we put together a 90 day game plan, but we have our team members to where we're holding them. We're holding each other accountable and we're all doing calls. We're doing a number of calls together. So it's not just one person doing a call. Um, and, and we're holding each other accountable. So we have an accountability sheet mm -hmm. and every day we check off how many PS3s, how many um, people we pique their interest, how many wow. people. How many times we prayed and meditate? How many times we went and worked out today? Um, how many three-way calls we did? How many follow-ups we did? How many events? How many people we got to the events? How many people we got signed up today? Every day. How many customers we got? How many uh, affirmations did we do today? And so we check that off daily, and we're holding each other accountable uh, every day for 90 days for the rest of the year while we're building the business and showing up the plan. That is awesome. And you hit a key there, accountability. And you're not just being accountable to each other on your business, but in your life. You talk about the prayer, the meditation, the working out. You guys are connected and in sync. That's got to take it to a whole new level. And by the way, Rudy's joining us here. Welcome, Rudy. Boom. Hey. Boom. <laughs> Rudy, on, we're Brad, talking go. about you know, what Silas is doing there in, in New York, uh, in uh, Nacogdoches. I'm going to pitch it over to Troy in a minute, but Rudy, Give us your thoughts on today and what you learned this morning and where we are right now with, with all of us. This is just so exciting to be here. Man, I, I mean, the call that we just had today, Mr. Edwin Haynes, always, always, always so much fun to be, you know, uh, a privilege to be around this guy, man. Um, you know, I had an opportunity of being around him over there in Maryland um, last weekend. And um, it was basically, you know, remember, we started, talk, we started having this conversation about being organized, you know? Right. And uh, I knew, I, I didn't know they were going to talk about it today, but mm -hmm. if for some reason 
I know, I know this is like a very, very important, important aspect of our, of our business. Mm-hmm. Because one of the things that some of us actually face like a challenge, we see it as a challenge, right? About mm-hmm. involving or telling our family members about our business, mm-hmm. about our commitment to our business and what we want to achieve. Right. Sometimes we feel like that's actually, we feel like that's actually a problem. Mm-hmm. You know, we think about it to be a predicament. But actually, it's not a predicament. It's just being, you know, it's being more organized. Because mm-hmm. as soon as you become more organized in your organization and your family is aware of your goals and they know what you want to achieve, it keeps you more accountable, just like what Silas was talking about. You know, right. it keeps you more accountable because right now everybody knows about your goal. Mm-hmm. Like you feel guilty if you don't achieve your goal, right? <laughs> and you're like, if people know about your goal and the family is already looking up to you and they say, you know what? We're going to give you this time that you asked for. You remember you mm-hmm. say you want to take 30 minutes out of, out of your time or out of family time to do whatever. Mm-hmm. If you thought, if maybe in the past you were always thinking, that, are you actually sticking out with the family for like two hours? Right. Next, I'm going to do an hour and a half because mm-hmm. I want to invest 30 more minutes into the organization. Right. Now they're going to hold you accountable to that, you know. that They're going to hold you accountable to that. They're thinking like you actually say you want to have, you want to have 30 more minutes into your business. So what are the results? You know, right. you got you got to put in the work, man. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, Troy. Your thoughts on, on and tell us what you've got going on there. So, um, just for those who doesn't know me, uh, don't know me. My name is Troy Stentalman from Brooklyn, New York, and um, I'm just happy to be here. And guys, once again, thanks for uh putting me on this call, this live call. Uh, <laughs> one thing that I got, I was watching the uh, you know, the training, the splice school this morning, and uh, just listening to uh our GMA. And uh, he was explaining how to do the calendar. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, that calendar is key for doing a business. And I'm literally can't wait for mine to hit my inbox. <laughs> so, and I bought yeah. two. I bought one for myself and I bought one for my young lady out in uh, uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Because uh, she's out there kind of alone, but I want her to have that tool. Right. You know, how many tools is flowing through your business. Mm-hmm. So that's me putting, not just listening to the call but Mm -hmm. actually doing what they say to do because those are the building blocks of the business, right? So, um, but just to touch on uh, what Silas was saying was how he was talking about building relationships. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely key. Uh, Most of my boomerangs are based off all the relationships that I've developed over the years. You know, it was to the point where I didn't really have to do too much. Mm -hmm. Once they listened to what I was saying, Mm-hmm. Then because of our relationship, they just follow the instructions. Right. You know what I mean? On how to get a boomerang and things of that nature and how to how to activate it. That, that's what I'm talking about. Right. And um, one thing I was uh, I don't know if you guys know, but um, my sponsor is uh, Mr. Stephen Rachel. Mm-hmm. On, okay. on YouTube, if you know him. Oh, that's um, awesome, dude. Yeah. This gentleman, um, he came out. Uh, we just had an event out in Tuesday mm-hmm. uh, right. with um, Emmanuel Bernstein. I was there with Rudolph. You know, we 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 hugged and, <laughs> and <laughs> hung off for a second. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> and um, after that event, two days later, we had another event. I actually got two people at the Starbucks, right, okay. with Mr. Stephen Rachel, and we had a blast, man. And uh, we had nine people taking over Starbucks. Wow. You know, just you know, just going back to your first works. Mm-hmm. Getting into the the dens and the living rooms and to continuously right. plant seeds. Right. So, right. just a quick story from that meeting. One young lady got signed up um, the the morning after, and mm-hmm. the, young, the next gentleman is looking to see when he can get started in the first class. Mm-hmm. So we'll follow up with him and see how that goes. But that's what I've been working on lately. That wow. that is awesome, and and, and congratulations to all you're doing there. Hey, mm-hmm. Silas, are you guys still with us? We lost your video, but can you hear us? Okay, I think I'm gonna send him a message. Rudy, your thoughts while I send Silas. Man, quick. you know, talking about talking about Stephen Rachel, man. Guess what? I woke up this morning. Stephen Rachel sent me a Facebook request. Nice. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I was like, wow. I responded to a Facebook request and I, I gave him a shout out. I texted him. I said, hey, man, it was so much fun catching up with you there in Jersey City. Mm-hmm. And he said, man, you know, let's just go. Let's just go ahead and you know keep rocking. And I mm-hmm. saw one of his videos that he did. Uh, I think about two weeks ago, mm-hmm. and I was watching the video. It, it, it's a it's a very very captivating video. It was about actually giving out a boomerang, you know. Right. And I watched the video. He made it in such a very it's a very casual video about 
about uh, this free website that he, this free service that mm-hmm. he uses and it's really free and you know people want to save money people will travel you know just go to this link right here hit it up and mm-hmm. you get it. i was like that's a brilliant idea right there i mean you're yeah. looking at somebody who is like one of the top recruiters in the organization i mean this guy is crazy man i'm looking at his i was actually having a conversation yesterday with a sapphire and he said man i love this guy man i, I just love him yeah, I, I agree. I mean, Stephen, it, it's, it's just such an inspiration. And, and the way he approaches things is so logical, right. what he does and what he works with there. I mean, that's amazing, Troy, that, that you're connected with him. And you know, it goes back to what Silas and, and his group were talking about earlier. It's that accountability thing. And you can be accountable to someone you don't know just by your accountability is you're going to tune in to what Stephen does and says on the, the YouTube I we got Silas back. Welcome back, guys. See you now. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi. Rudy, yes. questions for Silas or for Troy? Hey, Silas, man. You know, we've been, we've, been, we've been watching you. We've been watching you doing a lot of work out there, over there um, in your area. And, you know, we, we've been doing the Facebook Live. I've been thinking about, do we lost him again? Oh, okay, he's on. Great. I think we lost him again. So the stage is back in, I'll, I'll, I'll bring him back on. Okay, great. So um, we've been, you know, we've been doing this. Um, it's, all about, it's all about adding value, man. You know, it's all about adding value mm-hmm. because it's not just about, uh, we're thinking about this opportunity, how we can help other people, you know. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, in as much as we're all doing this business, we're thinking about what is it, like we're talking about Independence Day, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're right. talking about Independence right. Day because, um, our independence, people can look at independence to be from a different perspective. You know, different people may look at independence to be some kind of, you know, something different. But from your perspective, man, what does independence actually mean? So- Troy, go for it. You- okay. Well, yeah. for me, uh, independence is just, I'm, I'm specific on the freedom part of it. You know, I just want to be able to do what I want, with who I want, when I want. I don't want to worry about a alarm clock. Unless I'm going to one of those big events. That's the only time I want to worry about a <laughs> right. walk out. Okay? So Absolutely. That's I see, you know, that's what I see for myself in the future. You know, not right. having to worry about all the things that's going on, on in the world. You know, I just kind of work the way I choose to work. So right. to me, it's, it's not necessarily about strictly money. Mm-hmm. It's about that freedom. Right. right. And, is, and the money is the tool for me. So... Once you get that tool and get that out of the way, you can actually do what you really want to do. And you have the freedom mm-hmm. to do so. So that's how I feel about independence. That's that's what it means to me. That, that, that's awesome. You know, for me, I, I, I really had a life altering experience back in 2015. I was told I had about a week to live and wow. I had to go. Yeah, I did. I, was, I had to go through some, some, some heart surgery and stuff. And I remember waking up and thinking to myself, there's a reason I woke up. Mm. I, got to, I got to find that reason and discover that reason. That is my definition of freedom. It's mm. finding what it is that, that, that your passion is and what you're intended to do. And the, and the weird thing, I mean, the coincidental thing, I don't believe in coincidence. I believe the universe and God brings us all together for a reason. The same time I was having my surgery about the same time, David Manning was having his. And I didn't know David Manning at the time, our CEO of Extreme Travel. But that's two universes that later came together. Mm, So freedom is is just the independence is back to that word of freedom. It's the acknowledgement that you have given yourself permission to be the best person you can be and to find out what it is you need to do to make life work for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know, talking about freedom. I'm, I'm going on the same line of, of what happened, right? You know, mm-hmm. before I, I mean, this is a story that people haven't heard in the past, but this is what happened to me in 2016. Mm-hmm. So on the faithful 2016, that was June 2nd. On 20, I will never forget that day what happened, man. Right. Because June 2nd, 2016, I went to work like a regular person. Mm-hmm. And um, I went to work. I was doing medical assistance. I was helping patients, you know, treatments and blood work and processing samples for research. Everything that you know I would normally do, and guess what? I had a severe, severe mm-hmm. um, gastric pain. Mm-hmm. I had a severe gastric pain for like for the first thirty minutes um, that morning. I was like, maybe I need a tea. I need a cup of tea. 
I threw a cup of tea and I didn't, um, nothing changed. The pain mm-hmm. intensified. And before I knew it, I was, on, I was in a stretcher taking me to the ER. Right. I was running to the ER in one or two hours. The doctor said, you need a surgery. Mm-hmm. Wow. I said, wow. I said, why? She said, you need a surgery because you, you have a perforated ulcer. You oh, need a surgery because you, you have, because there's some, she said there's an acid, something going on in your stomach, something's going on. We need a surgery to close it up as soon as possible. If not, it's going to be worse than this. Wow. Wow. So you've been down that same road too. You don't know what's going to happen to you. Man, I, I mean, this, like I said, this is a story many people really ha- haven't heard about it. You know? yeah. I went to the hospital mm-hmm. on that fateful Friday mm-hmm. and I went to the hospital. I mean, I came back after about two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like this, this is like you. Leave, this is like unexpectancy. You know, right. we we go through our days. We mm-hmm. go through our days not thinking about what's gonna happen. Right. When you, when you really look at the situation, that I mean, I will never forget what happened on that day, man. Mm-hmm. Because I had a surgery. I was in the hospital for two weeks, and the doctor said you can't do anything physical in three for three months. Right. Yeah. I said, how am I gonna pay my rent for three months? Right. How am I gonna feed my family for three months? Right. How am I going to talk to my mom and feed my mom for three months? Yep. There's got to be some way out. There's got to be something else to do about this. Mm-hmm. I went online and started looking. Wow. I started looking. You know, in my search, I came around. I came across so many people. I came across, you know, different companies. And that has been, that has been so inspiring. And I said to myself, I've been saying this to my coach uh, yesterday, last night. Mm-hmm. I said, listen, man, we are blessed to be together. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to promise you this. I will never, 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 mm-hmm. never quit anything that I start. That's right. That's right. Because I, I really got to achieve my goal. Mm-hmm. I really got to achieve, achieve whatever I said to do in right. this business. And mm-hmm. I'm going to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that, so, that's an amazing yeah. story, Rudy. Troy. Oh, man. Wow. Well, um, I want to say for... You guys, uh, I want to say that's a part of your journey. Mm-hmm. That's right. um, what I wanted to touch on real quick is just uh, not being in a rush, but to enjoy the journey there. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and like you said, uh, I was when I was talking to Stephen Rachel, we were stressing the fact that we need to tell our stories. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Absolutely. a part of my story is, you know, I went to college for five years. You know what I mean? I had, I, I was one of those guys that. Changed their major after a year. I went to school for sports management. Mm-hmm. You know, I got out and, and I actually managed I, over time to get something in what I love to do. Mm-hmm. But it's on college loans, there's right. no joke. Mm-hmm. So it's like you feel like you're in a bind. Right. So not only I found, like, like Rudolph says, he went online and he found something and he said he'll never quit whatever he started, right? Right. I feel right. the same way. I feel the same way about um I boomerang. Mm-hmm. And this is the vehicle that I we're we all chose right. to help us, like you said, uh get get uh, find your purpose. Mm-hmm. You, right. You're never gonna quit it. And myself, the same thing. Right. And um this this is the, this is a great vehicle and I'm I'm enjoying the journey. You know, oh. I'm not in a I'm not in a rush to to be at the freedom. I'm I'm enjoying the journey there to it. So Absolutely. all the people I meet and all the stories I hear and all of the hard times, all the good times, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, you know, this, this, we, we are all excited on this call right now, but people right. are seeing when we might hit that, that block, like, man, yeah. I can't, I, I don't know. I can't seem to get around that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. You know, the thing I, I love about a boomerang is the, the people that are part of us, but right. 30 some odd thousand strong. You, those are your brothers and sisters out there with it. Mm-hmm. And when you hear people like Mr. Holton Buggs or Mr. Evan Haynes, T. Gray, Mark Kidcart, David Manning, all of them, they've been down in the trenches. They didn't inherit their wealth. So mm-hmm. they just give it to them. Yeah. They, they hit that, that rock, like you said, Troy, they hit it. And they looked at it and they said, you know, I got two choices or three choices. I can stand here and keep looking at it. Right. I can go back to where I was, or I can find a way around it. Yeah. And they found that way around it, and they created something. And now they're sharing that with us. I mean, it's just the the the, the genuine love and, and camaraderie those three gentlemen have this morning on that call. 
that tells you you're part of something really special. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. You know, I, I, I totally agree. You know, I was watching this three guys on, 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 on the screen of my computer today. I was like, yeah. wow, this is exactly, this is exactly what we have. I mean, this is exactly what we are actually looking up to. Right. You know, this right. are, this are, this are multi-millionaires who mm -hmm. take up their time to sit on the computer in order to train us. Exactly. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I was, I was, I was at a the meeting there in Maryland, and Mr. Aiden Haynes gave a little, you know, a short story about people wanting to be with him, to mm -hmm. spend him about five thousand dollars for an hour of training and coaching. Right. Mm -hmm. and look at what we're getting for free. I mean, because so because we're we're plugged into we're plugged into such an amazing organization, man. Right. You know that 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 just blows my mind. Yeah, it, it does, and you know what they have replicates through. Because the, the, the feeling, camaraderie, and the unification, the edification, those three have, right. we have it right here at our level, too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, that, I mean that, that's the whole point, because we doing this together. We Troy on the line. We, I mean, we, 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 we Silas on, on the other line. Mm -hmm. we, this, is how we, this is how we build. Exactly. You know? This is yeah. how we build. And this is how we start. We build a relationship. We mm -hmm. build a relationship. We build a business. We just keep growing, because... First of all, the fact that we are united, right? You know, the fact that we are united and we stay accountable to each other, that counts yeah. a lot in everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes back to what Silas was saying earlier, that accountability. And it's not just about accountability with your business. I mean, this, this calendar we've talked about that, right. that we all have, this is not a calendar of success for your business in iBoomerang. This is a calendar of success in life. Absolutely. And I love what, what, what Mr. Haynes said this morning. He started out with that, that, that spiritual side. That was the first thing you commit to in your calendar. And right. then family is the second thing you commit to in your calendar. And then the third thing is the wealth, your business. Yeah. You've got to have those priorities set and, and, and so on. And Silas, they, they should be back. They had to actually change places because of the Wi-Fi where they were. But Silas was saying this morning, they are accountable for each other for their prayerful moments, for their meditation moments, they go to the gym and work out moments. If all you do is concentrate on your business, you're not going to be successful because mm -hmm. you're letting the other parts that make you that person suffer. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. That's that. I mean, that's so that's so true, Mick. Because it's not just about it's not just about business, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, looking at looking at what you and I looking at looking at what we're doing here. Sometimes somebody asks me and say. Are you prospecting or are you are you doing? I said no, I'm, I'm not doing any of them. No, it, it, it's it's not about both. It's right. just it's just putting on information like helping somebody because at the end of the day, guess what? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, at the end of the day, we have our members who are part of this organization share right. this video with your teams, share this mm -hmm. video with your you know with your prospect. Yeah. At the end of the day, they're sharing it on their channel. It's just about helping people to get information out there. Oh, exactly. I was, in, I was having a conversation with somebody on, on LinkedIn and she said, um, I don't know how to do video. I don't I said, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice an hour of my time on Saturday and I'll show you how to do a live video. It's not rocket science. Yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not rocket science. But you really gotta go out there and put in the information because that's what it is. Right. You know, you, you and I really when we first started talking about this, how are we gonna do this? What do we do? We Googled it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we tried this platform free for about you know what five days seven days something then we said you know what we like this one better it's cheaper we'll go with this one and that's what we did that's you all know, I, I just i just want to give a shout out to the fact that we are committed you know mm -hmm. i just want to give a shout out because when i met troy in when i met troy in jersey city on tuesday night i was surprised yeah. to meet troy you know, right. but I, I know Troy. I was like, okay, yeah, what, what's going on, man? Is this your upline? Is this, you know, what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. But now the guy who actually invited me to this event is a sci-fi, Duran. Yeah. Right. Duran is a guy, and guess what Duran did? Duran spent four hours of his time last night with me. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's try four... something, guys. I see Silas. It's not letting me push him to the come live, but Silas, can you hear us? Can you, could you hear Silas, guys? No, I can't hear you. I can hear you. Only I can hear you. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with, with this system. Obviously, it's live. But um, 
you know, let me just kind of interpret for Silas to see if we can get this thing to push to come on live here. Um, Silas, we're just talking about about independence and accountability and freedom. And what does independence mean to you and freedom mean to you? I can hear you and I'll interpret for Rudy and, and Troy. <laughs> Whatever works. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty much he, he, he mimicked Troy and the rest of us. To him, independence means you wake up in the morning, you do what you want to do, you do right. it with people you want to do it with, and that and that is independence for, for them there. You know, one of the things, and we're getting close to the, the time, but one of the things I want to just toss out to everyone, and, and Silas, for you guys too, Mr. Haynes said something this morning I thought was so incredibly powerful. Uh -huh. He said, if your plate is Maybe. full... Mm -hmm. And you don't have in your life what you want. Uh huh. You've got the wrong things on your plate. Ooh, fire! <laughs> I love. How do you? How do you take a serving off your plate and put a new serving on, guys? How do you do that? Go for it, Troy. Well, I mean, I would say, uh, you know, refocus yourself, like, and look at the evidence of what you've been doing. Like, what, what has that been bringing to your life? Yeah. If it hasn't been adding any value to your life, you might want to rethink it. You know, so it wouldn't hurt to redirect some of your time to something that we feel that can possibly help you. Right. That's it. Right. Rudy. Wow, man. I mean, it, it, this is one of the things that we talked about that, that we that we get to deal with every day, mm -hmm. you know. And uh when you when you when you approach somebody or somebody sees the other side and see that opportunity. And he or she is thinking like, um, no, it's not for me. I play this too full. I play this too full. But at the end of the day, now I have a new question for them. Mm -hmm. And after this training, today with Mr. Edwin Haynes, now I have a new question. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really going to ask them, do you have the life that you want with everything that you have on your plate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, then whatever that response will be, then we're going to be able to see so you have you been able to achieve everything in your life, given that you already have everything full, your plate is full, because it doesn't make any sense for you to have your plate full with garbage. Right, right, yeah. exactly. You know? right. Exactly. I can't, hear, I can't hear you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't can you hear me, Rudy? You wanna, you, boom. <laughs> can you hear us, Rudy? Rudy can't hear us. Silas, can you hear us? Uh, what's going on? Can you hear me, Silas? You can't, Silas can't hear either. For some reason, we've got some audio problems going on. But let's do this, guys. Let's just wrap it up real, real, real quickly. Um, you know, what I'm going to say to anyone is if you're watching this, if you want to learn more, type in the comment section. Uh, you know, tell me more. Uh, if you want a boomerang, click me. Yes, who's there? Oh, Silas is here. I can hear Silas now. Rudy, oh, can you hear me? I don't know what's going on. We're having fun this morning, folks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's. I'm just saying we're gonna wrap it up and say if you know what we'll do. I did capture a picture of all of us. I'm gonna send it up to Mr. Kitcart for us to be on Flight Squad next week to celebrate this this whole thing with us. But guys, thank you. I will have a a, a video of this posted real uh, soon. But just leave it with this. Look at that plate in front of you. If it's too full and you're not living the life you want to live, take something off. Go get a second helping of what's working. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much. We're going to bring a close it out here and we'll have Silas, his team back on soon. Troy, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank Rudy, you. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. All right. Now. Boom. Boom. <laughs>